right, we are live to Facebook and for another Market Update Monday. Super excited to have the local professionals that come on here every week to update you guys on what's going on with the market. Um, we They also share with you a current listing that they have, which is always one of my favorite parts to see all the houses that I wish I could have. And then we also go over any announcements that they might have. And it's just a really great way to get a discussion about what's going on in the market right now because it's crazy right now. We would all agree that real estate is on fire. And a lot of people out there don't really understand why or... You know, there's a lot going on with the circumstances of the world right now. So our area here along the Trader Coast has been doing amazing. So it's always been very interesting for me to have this weekly Market Update Monday to figure out what's going on and what's being updated each and every week. So we're going to let them talk and give us their expertise on what's going on in each of their corners of the world because we all experience different things in the market. So Jen, would you like to start us off with what you're seeing in this crazy market we're in right now? <laughs> Sure, yes. Um, yeah, actually, I was doing some research because I was kind of curious to see uh, how many homes have sold within the past week within St. Lucie County. And it came up as 99 homes, just single family residents. And I'm like, 100 homes in a week is quite a bit of selling. And that's just single family residents, not including villas, townhouses, or anything like that. So my thing is basically because everybody's swamped. If we are swamped as realtors, then your mortgage professionals are swamped, your inspection professionals are swamped. Everybody needs time. So when setting up a contract, make sure that you take into consideration guidelines. And I think it's really important for agents to have a good rapport with the other professionals. So that way you can keep in tune with everything that's going on and make sure that you set appropriate timelines for closing. So you're not running around going crazy and, and being short on time and just making sure that paperwork is in when it needs to be in and getting done when it needs to be getting done. So you don't have any added delays for no reason. Um, so with that being said, I would just say, yeah, just pay attention to the contracts, make sure you have an agent who's informed and is, you know, understanding what's happening with other local professionals. Um, so you can get the job done and there is no issues. I love that, Jen. Thank you. And that's, wow, that's crazy. A hundred homes in just a week in St. Lucie County, not even including town. Wow. That's, that's crazy. That's, mm -hmm. Wow. Thanks for sharing that. That's a great stats. What about you, Peter? What are you seeing over in your neck of the woods? <laughs> well, it's it's certainly been busy, and um, and Jen basically hit it right, hit the nail right on the head. Um, the <laughs> everybody is busy, and so when you're preparing that offer, you may not want to get too aggressive with your timeline unless you know for certain that that the uh, title company, um, whether whether you can get the correct documents if it's a condominium. Um, you just want to make sure you give yourself enough time to be able to abide by the terms that you're laying down in your offer. I like that. Yep. Yeah, it's very important. And you did mention something very important, Jen, with everyone is inundated right now, making sure that the inspections can be done in the inspection period and such like that. Yeah. So that's great tips for sellers out there and buyers. Um, what about you, Sarah? What are you seeing on your side of things? Uh, you know, we've been super busy. I haven't been here for a couple of weeks, so I'm really excited to be back. Um, but yeah, it's really great for our local economy because we've got movers and packers and and all the people involved, inspectors and people fixing uh, things that come up on inspections. Everybody's running around busy. It's super great to see. Um, I have some local stats from Martin County, and then I have um, the Q2 stats that I'll um I'll share with you. Let me just share my screen real quick and, and throw those up for you guys to see. These are the Q2 2020 stats for Martin County, um, and it's year over year. Um, and if you look here, the closed sales are down considerably, and that's only because inventory is so low. It's not because homes aren't selling. So if you look at the average sale price for Martin County year over year, it's up 20.8%. That is a huge number as compared to last year before COVID um, and people are buying 20.8% more than they were last year this time. So that's a pretty impressive number. Um, to be fair, part of that number is that we had a delayed um, spring market and it's happening now in the months that are usually quieter for us here, but still it's a very respectable um, number. 
Our new listings are down 11 and a half percent. And that is what you've been hearing from all of us. Our inventory is really tight for two reasons. One, we can't keep houses on the market. And the second reason is the people who have houses don't want to sell them. They don't want to leave. They love it. You know, we've been through a lot and it's turned out to be a pretty good place to live. Um, even if you are locked in your house for several months, there's a lot to do around here. So I think that number reflects those um, those two items. And then also, if you look at pending inventory year over year, it's up 37 percent. These are huge numbers. Our active listings are down 28.9 percent and our month supply is down 25.5. That's kind of a more sophisticated number, but it, it really means that if all homes stopped being listed, right now what the absorption rate is meaning how long would it take to sell all inventory right now on hand if nothing else came on the market and that number that absorption rate is super low lower than i've seen it in a decade so that's a really exciting number as well and then quickly i just want to go over the past week like jen did past week in Martin County, we've had 116 new listings put on the market and we've had 135 close. So you can see the balance is a little bit off there. Um, we did have a few price decreases, 91, but then we also had price increases, 20. So people are just all over the place, just trying to figure out what things are worth. But pricing overall is up. I see numbers like five to 6% um, from last year. I think those are more realistic numbers. So anyway, to sum it all up, everything's been great in our area. No signs of slowing down. Um, we're getting calls all the time from people just in the area trying to um, right size and then people from completely out of the area trying to buy something. I've been very challenged over the last two weeks with buyers who are coming from out of the area and they're FaceTiming the showings. And um, so we're doing a lot of climbing through bushes and, and you know, sending them like peaks of the neighbor's yard and trying to get them everything they need to know or see um, related to buying sight unseen. Um, and so as a result, you're seeing that larger fall through number. That's only because people pick a couple of houses. They might put one under contract and then they come to town and they're taking that inspection period to figure out where they want to be. Um, so my advice is to tighten up that inspection period. It shouldn't be more than five or 10 days. Um, it's other than that, you know, you're just holding a house off the market too long. Um, so that's been our challenge with, um, you know, with people. So it's really important. I'll say one more thing. It's really important that you're working with the realtor now, like the professionals that you see here today um, that have the potential to market your home. If you're taking a listing or listing your home, they know how to do it online. They know how to market. Everything is, we're, we're not doing mailers, we're not doing print advertising, we're not doing marketing homes the way we used to. Everything is online and you need an agent who has an ability to pull that off. You also, it's really important that your agent is helping you price your home competitively um, because the, the buyers are out there and you don't want to miss out on the opportunity to sell now. Um, and also you want to be able to work with an agent who's going to be able to get it sold in a certain time frame because you don't want it lingering on the market. So now more than ever, it's really important to use an expert with super, you know, good, strong skills that knows how to navigate this market and has a proven track record that they can do so. So that's, that's my tip. Thank you, Sarah. And you brought up so many great points. And thanks for sharing those numbers as well. It's insane to see those numbers be have such a jump. And it's it's crazy to think that it's been six months since coronavirus started. Like that's half a year. Like what? <laughs> like where did the time go? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> it's about to be September and I don't think I'm ready for it. <laughs> and um, yeah. And Sarah, so Sarah had a, uh, a really good point. Um, only not only with the the percentages she shared if you look at july numbers from 2019 to th 2020 and then you look at let's say you start in dade county dade county uh closed sales in july year over year down six percent uh, broward up just under one percent palm beach up nine and a half percent martin county up 42 
25% year over year in July and Port uh, St. Lucie County about 20% up. So you see that not only the people coming down, but the people are moving up and, um, and honestly, the, the, the right price you, you need, you need to price that home so that people are coming in in the first month month and a half because you have to strike while the iron's hot. So the, the pricing is very, very important. Absolutely, absolutely. Wow, that was really interesting that you shared the sub down south's numbers and those comparisons because that really shows you how, how um, what's the word that I'm looking for? I don't, not powerful, but like how uh, wanted our area is. That's still not the word I want, but demand. yeah, we're yeah our, our area is in high demand. Yeah, yeah. it's insane. That's crazy. I had a buyer stop me today on the street and she said, you know, she's looking for Riverfront. They're actually building this gorgeous house right here in the Floridian, but she's looking for other property and she wants Riverfront with a dock in the backyard. And she really is, she's new from California and she really likes the vibe around here and also a little further south like Jupiter and Palm Beach Gardens. And she said she was looking down there a little bit at Riverfront property and the agents, and not the agents, the people that she was talking to, the friends she was meeting, they were all saying, you don't want to <laughs> sorry poppy gardens they were all saying you want to be up in palm city you, you know it's just we're moving up there all moving up there because it's a little quieter so that's a little plug for palm city the people down south are, are telling people up here oh no you're in the right place it's great there you know it's a little quieter and um it's a hot market so we are seeing a lot of buyers thank you peter we are seeing a lot of buyers coming up from down south as well absolutely and, and using a local using a local professional is so important too because we um and we do a, a weekly thursday's top tips in real estate and last week when our topic was a very important one and it was about the iBuyer systems and everything and how the iBuyer systems are coming into effect and how important it is to use a human during the process it's so easy with all the information out there to go online and try and find all of the information by yourself but we're in this every single day and not one person in real estate knows everything that's going on with real estate. So it's really hard to be an outsider in this, especially in this crazy market and go into this and you, you just, you're going to miss things and using a local professional, someone that knows the area that understands what, what is going on in our market when you're, you're using someone who's out of state or whatever it might be, they're not going to be able to, utilize and understand our market in a way that our local professionals will. So just keep that in mind to anybody who's watching on the internet. Right Lucy, now. thank you for bringing that up. That's a really good point. When iBuyers started to come onto the scene, we were, you know, we were looking into it. We sat in on a lot of webinars trying to figure out where their place was in the market. Um, and I did, we did have some sellers that were clicking on the button, you know, on Zillow to have an iBuyer contact them and, and promise them an offer on their house. And of course, it always played out that the offer was so low. So then I started to dig a little deeper into the company's um, uh, information on what they were trying to achieve with the iBuyer system. And um, they've struggled from the beginning with it because they can't evaluate the homes correctly um, for these um, people to sell them. So it really hasn't been doing well. And one of the first press releases I saw when we first shut down at the end of March was that all the iBuyers, the online iBuyers, they were closing down their operations during COVID because they couldn't even function during that time. They, um, you rely so heavily on real people in this business that their um, algorithm and, and the, the way that they um, compile data and and make um, buying de purchasing decisions none of it was working correctly now i'm sure they've started back up again i didn't watch i didn't get the chance to watch thursday i'm sure they're trying to start back up again but it's a flawed system you know it's really hard to automate a human experience so thank you for for bringing that up um, I just don't think you can replace that human experience. You're not going to be able to find the, the things that we do. We go so far above and beyond what people even realize realtors do, and you just can't get a computer to duplicate those efforts. So, Absolutely. And using and, someone locally is very important just yeah. because of all of those reasons. And I don't think you're ever going to replace that human experience either, especially in a time like this where people really are craving that human interaction right now because they're not getting it as socially um, in, in the in the current search circumstances um and, and i i also compare uh, compare and contrast i 
hold iBuyers very close to investors because the, they need the wedge. They need something which is not quite uh, appeasing to all parties involved so that some people are not going to be interested. Uh, they need to be able to go in there and, and buy your property at the right price so that they can do the work to it so that they can sell it at the real right price. Um, and that doesn't always have the seller's best interests uh, first in line. Absolutely. And an automated experience isn't going to have your interest in mind. So, you know, that's when, when you, with realtors, again, what you said earlier, Sarah, about how they really don't understand how much you guys actually do. And you become like their family, their friends, like you're talking with them, like, you know, you're coaching them through their, one of their biggest life changes that they're going through. It's insane. And it's, it's a big and a very emotional experience. So not having someone kind of walk you through that and the automation just isn't going to be able to do that for you guys. Um, now we do have another big thing that's happening in St. Lucie County today is the, the uh, first day of school. So what do you guys, do you guys have anything or any tips uh, for sellers right now in regards to school now being started? What do you guys see happening with that? Is there anything specific that you guys want to mention in regards to that? I'd like to say that I think it's changing the face of the real estate market because there are a lot of kids that are opting for remote um, learning. They have that option. And if they're going to, um, if, if they're going to choose remote learning for right now until they're completely comfortable with going back to in-person, you're still going to see the influx of moves, family moves, which you normally only see in the summer. Now the families can move whenever because the kids are learning online. So that's kind of a neat little byproduct of, um, you know, the way our market has shifted and our seasons, our busy seasons, our quiet seasons have all changed and they're all just smashed together. We used to see a lot of families moving over the holidays as well. And I just don't think think um, there's anything stopping them from coming now. And also a lot of employee, employers are starting to announce that they're letting people stay permanently um, working from home. So again, between the kids learning remotely and the parents being able to work from anywhere, um, we're seeing um, the results of that. Absolutely. So I wish the points. kids all the best. I, it's really been a bumpy road for them. Um, we're waiting to hear back on my son. He got ex uh, accepted for on-campus fall, but they haven't given us an arrival date yet. So we're waiting every single day. It, it's been a bumpy road. Some of his friends have gone back and then they've shut down the school. So we don't know. It's all up in the year. I just wish these kids all the best. They're so strong and resilient. I know they'll get through this, but it's kind of tough on them right now. Absolutely. And Jen, I know you had some kids that just went back. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I definitely agree with the whole virtual um, gives you options. You don't feel like you're stuck if you're wanting or thinking of selling because you'll be able to pick up and move and not have to worry about, you know, ripping your kids out of school and putting them in another school. So it definitely gives you options. Um, and I, yeah, like, like Sarah said, kids are resilient. So they're able to just go with the flow. It doesn't bother them in the least. Absolutely. It's like another we, we may have a problem with change. But they're, they're, yeah, exactly. They're like, let's do it. So um, I think it's, it's kind of neat and exciting. It's stressful too, but um, yeah, we're going to get through it and we'll see what happens. So yeah, the first day in St. Lucie County was today. So we'll see how all the kids are by the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's very true. It's already halfway through almost. Right? <laughs> I'm sure the parents are very excited. <laughs> Yeah, right. They're like, leave. There you go. <laughs> what about you, Peter? Do you have anything on the whole school? Uh, I, I would just say that um, even though some kids are staying at home and schooling from home, there are an awful lot of kids going back to school. So just be careful on the roads out there. Uh, a lot of kids, you know, a lot of kids running across the street trying to catch the bus, um, looking at their phones. Just be careful. That's different. It's crazy how much our world has changed, not only in COVID times, but just in general, you know, the, the whole technology is thrown a loop for it. Well, that's some great tips. Thank you guys so much for sharing that. I always love our little discussion in the beginning and just understand what's going on and getting the highlights from you guys. If you guys have any questions for these realtors, by the way, um, they are amazing local professionals and you guys can always reach out to them. Their information and contact information is in the description of this video. So make sure that you guys go follow them on Facebook, find them, check them out. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go into the second portion of this market update Monday. And that is going to be each of these amazing realtors are going to share with you a 
stock market or something that they have on the market right now, one of their houses. So it's always a really great segment to see what's actually out there and what's for sale while it's while it's for sale, which <laughs> they're going pretty quickly here. So we do have Jen up first. So I'll go ahead and highlight your screen and you can share with us your screen and your, your time to shine. <laughs> So let me go ahead and whoop, let me get it back to the beginning for you. Sorry. Okay. And let me see. So this is going to be 215 Flagler Avenue, number 401 in Stewart, Florida. 2475, two bedroom, two bathroom condo, 1228 square feet. This is going to give you kind of a view of the property, the clubhouse, um, just so you have an idea. It's a beautiful location. You have a five-star fitness center that you're able to use. There are two pools, one with a hot tub. Uh, you do see Tide House Restaurant in the corner right there, uh, which is right down in a short distance away from the condo. It uh, is on the fourth floor. There is elevator access um, and stairs if you would like. And here is a view of the property on the inside with granite countertops. There is a 3D virtual tour if you're interested to take a view virtually. And once again, you'll get different angles and different views of the property. It is turnkey, fully furnished. So everything you see will stay in the property. All stainless steel appliances. Just neat little views so you get an idea of what the property looks like. Impact windows, storm rated glass sliding doors. And then you do have your owner suite, which does have a walk-in closet. And you do have a Roman tub and dual sinks with a shower. You do have pool and water views. So you are able to look in the morning, whether you do a sunrise, sunset. Here is your guest bedroom and here is the bathroom, the second bathroom. And you can call and schedule your private tour with us if you would like. 772-444-6989. And it does have a brand new AC as well. It was just put in in 2020. Awesome, so. beautiful house. Can you tell Very us nice. the price really quick? The price was two forty seven five. So perfect, awesome, beautiful as always. <laughs> All right, and next up we have Peter Hibbard. I'll go ahead and spotlight your video. Nope, I think you're muted too. Let's see here. Do, do you see it now? Yep. Okay. Um, this is. 225 Mercia Drive, um, number 312 in the Somerset at Abacoa Condominium. Um, a beautiful, it's in a perfect area down there. It's about, it's a two bed, two bath, 1,281 square feet, um, CBS construction. It is a corner unit. Uh, let's take a look here. This is the layout here um, from the front door you can see that there are uh, two pretty decent sized bedrooms, uh, both about 12 by 13. Let's take a look. Uh, so as you walk in, you'll, you'll be greeted with tile and straight into the kitchen where you have maple cabinets and granite countertops and black appliances. Um, you can shoot right over here into the dining area. You see the crown molding basically throughout. Really nice uh, chair, mail, chair rail moldings. Um, makes for a nice kind of formal dining area and a look out on the balcony into the woods. No one's, no one's behind you in this uh, unit. The, the uh, living area is also very nice. Um, right here gives you, also has the crown molding um, and you can see what the little ones are doing from the kitchen, if you will. Uh, the master bedroom, it is a split floor plan. So uh, the master bedroom's on one side, the, uh, the guest bedroom or second bedroom is on the other side. Um, shoots right into primary bath and nice walk-in closet space. Um, this, uh, this is really a great area. I'm not sure, uh, um, I'm a huge fan of, of Martin County, Stewart, uh, Port St. Lucie. Um, but this down in, down in Palm Beach Gardens is actually a, a pretty nice area here. Um, we'll scoot over into the second bathroom. It's in the Jupiter area, right? It, yes, it is in the Jupiter area. Thank you very much. I apologize. Um, okay. So these are real, real cherry hardwood floors. Um, nice big walk-in closet. This, this place actually has 
has so much to offer it. Uh, new AC in 2019, new hot water heater in 2018, new roof in 2019, gutters in 2020. Um, the community offers a heated pool, children's play area, a putting green, picnic area with grills, um, clubhouse with fitness center, a library, um, and kids room. It, it really offers an awful lot. Um, and listed at 259, it's basically a steal. Uh, so give a call when you get the chance. Um, we would love to hear from you. We'd love to take you, take you on a walk around the neighborhood and uh, show you this unit specifically. Love that, Peter. That's a great area too. And I, I love those little tours. Um, what is that? What, what's that called again? It's like a- uh, That's a Matterport. Tour. Matterport tour. Yeah, those are so cool to be able to like go through the house like that and just see exactly what it looks like. Technology, like I said, <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, at the, at the beginning of the COVID outbreak, I was, uh, I had a duplex listed and I put the Matterport in both sides and the, the, <laughs> the photographer basically thought I was going crazy, but it made for a perfect, uh, you know, I could put everything right on the website and everyone had the ability to walk through the property. And I encouraged everyone to walk through the property prior to uh, setting up a showing based on the fact that there are tenants and we needed to, uh, needed to work with the tenants to make sure that everything was, was copacetic. Absolutely. I love it. Thanks so much for sharing, Peter. Thank you. Um, all right. Next up is Sarah. We'll have Sarah share her screen. And make sure you unmute yourself. Uh, you're muted, by the way, Sarah. Oh, there you go. Hey, hi there, everybody. Sarah Crombie, New Wave Realty. I have the sweet listing in Palm Cove Falcon Yacht Club. We just did another price reduction on it. It's actually priced um, really below market in my view. It's at three thirty nine nine. So for three hundred and thirty nine thousand dollars, nine hundred thousand dollars. No, back up. Start over. Three hundred and thirty nine thousand nine hundred dollars. Got that. Um, you can own this little slice of paradise. You know, Palm Coast is such a fun neighborhood. There's so much to do. We have fishing, kayaking, tennis, golf, boating, ocean access, lots to do, a big clubhouse, pool, gym, everything. And here is one of our courtyard style townhomes. My favorite part about this townhome is it has a lot of outdoor living space. And especially now, that's something that people are looking for. Here's the back of the property. You can see how at the end of the street here we have marina access um, and river views so it's a really nice location in the community um, that's fr from the front door you have these really cute little gardens and fountains on the street here's entering through the courtyard but again what i love about this townhome which you don't usually get in a condo or a townhome is a lot of outdoor living space so if you look you have this courtyard it has sliders to the kitchen so if you're entertaining it flows really nicely and come out barbecue you can have lights out here you can have i would plant a living wall here and do all my herbs and different things growing along there um, and then once you step inside it's super stylish and neutral inside you have a big living room there's another angle big dining area there's a den beyond that the kitchen there's the den it's really a nice size you can use it for anything so now we've got a lot of outdoor living space a home office all the requirements that people are looking for now in a community with a lot of amenities so you don't have to leave um, look how pretty the kitchen is they've updated the cabinetry there's plenty of room if you wanted to add a center island there's a breakfast bar um, let me fast forward to upstairs. Um, look at this beautiful natural light coming in through the hallway when you go upstairs. Three very large bedrooms. Here's one of the guest bedrooms. You can see the size of it. It has that cute Juliet balcony. So every room has a patio. There's a patio um, in the back as well. Um, here's the patio off that bedroom. Um, there's a full bath for these two guest bedrooms. Again, luxury vinyl plank flooring, really pretty modern colors big bedrooms, lots of closet space. Here's your master, huge walk-in closet, big ensuite bath with double sink, separate tub, 
and shower here. Um, and then if you look, there's a door off the back of the master with its own private patio. You can sip a cup of coffee or have a glass of wine at the end of the day. So I'm really in love with this townhouse. We're reduced to 339.9. Um, this is the backyard. There's some green space, another patio off the back. Some people do screen those in. You have Western exposure. Look at these gorgeous sunsets. Um, again, uh, located in a fabulous community with all the requirements people are looking for, um, home office, outdoor, indoor, outdoor space. Um, this is a snapshot of the dock to the marina. We've got a nice floor plan here. The house has three bedrooms, two and a half baths. It's a little over 2,000 square feet under air and um, it's located in Palm Cove Golf and Yacht Club. So look at all the amenities here. We've got the gym, we've got a clubhouse, a big heated pool. We have a children's playground, kayak and paddle boarding, um, tennis, it's all here. So come on by, bring some buyers by, or um, give us a call or check out our Facebook page if you want more information on this property, but I'm excited. Uh, big price reduction, just did it yesterday. Love Thank it. You. Thank you, Sarah. We're the first ones to hear about the price reduction. Nice. <laughs> here first. You heard it here first, kids. <laughs> Love it. All right. So those were some of the properties. If you guys just tuned in now and you missed those, um, you can always watch the replays of our market update Mondays on our YouTube channel, Aero Tile Services. Uh, and It'll also be on our Facebook as well. So we always love to have these amazing realtors come on and share with us these, their amazing tips and tricks on what's going on with the market right now and their beautiful listings. Does anybody have any announcements that they want? Like any open houses that are coming up, any coming soon's where that you heard it here first comes back into play? <laughs> Jen, go ahead. Uh, same property, 215 Flagler Avenue. I will be hosting an open house on Sunday, August 30th from 11 to 2. So if anyone's interested or wants to stop on by, please do so. Or you can give us the office a call, 772-444-6989. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you, Jen. Anyone else? Hmm? No? Okay. Sarah? Yeah, I do. How could you tell me that? <laughs> You know, well, you like, how do that. I ever not have something to say? I'm like, my head's going a mile a minute because we have all this stuff going on. I just want to do a shout out to Life Beautifier. You guys all saw that we stayed professionally staged at home. No sooner after we did that, we had an offer on it and two backup offers on it. We're closing on that either Friday or Tuesday. We're trying to work that out. Um, so big plug. Uh, nice job, Life Beautifier. Ev worth every penny spent on that. Um, really pulled that one together for us. I have a really exciting new listing coming on. Photo shoot Thursday. So it'll be ready to debut on uh, next Monday. Um, it's gorgeous. I, I sold it a couple of years ago and the buyers came in and like did everything over and it's super, super cool. So that's my exciting announcement. Um, and of course, we always have open houses on Sunday. Um, so we're going to be holding the cute townhome that I just showed you um, open on Sunday from 1 to 3. And you can check our Facebook pages or go to our uh, New Wave Realty Florida website to get more information on that. Love it. Thank you, Sarah. I love those cut. Like, yeah. you heard it here first, guys. <laughs> um, Texts start coming in. What are you listing? What are you listing from the other agents? We all work so closely together. When they hear that a new listing is coming out, sometimes these deals get put together really quickly. So don't wait, people. Now, you know, so true. Going fast. So true. Now's the time. Yep. As, a, as a matter of fact, on here a few weeks ago, uh, I told you guys that it might be time for me to buy a new house because uh, just spaces at a premium. Um, it didn't actually work out that way. I, we did buy a new house, but uh, but it's we're doing some uh, renovations on it, and it will be a rental. So that's the uh, that's that's the big news I have. I will have uh, once once the the kitchen is completely finished uh, and everything is finished, we will uh, I'll be bringing it here to uh, share with you lovely ladies. Exciting. Very exciting. cool. And if you guys, Peter has all of his little updates on how the mar uh, how the kitchen's going and everything. It's really cool. So make sure you go follow Peter. Make sure you follow everybody who's on this call. <laughs> all 
um, because everybody's got some exciting stuff going on. So that's awesome, Peter. We're looking forward to hearing it. And yeah, so, all right. If that no one else got anything else, um, that was our market update Monday for this week. And you guys will have to tune in next Monday at 2 p.m. And we, like I said, we go live every Monday at 2 p.m. with this market update Monday and these amazing local realtors share with you and take the time out of their day to share with you what's going on with the market. So use a local professional that you trust and is going to take the time to educate you on what's going on and answer those questions. And these realtors who are on here every week truly do. So I, I put my faith behind them as well. So give them a call. Um, thank you guys so much for coming on to this today and this week and multiple weeks. And we will see you guys next week. Thank you. Thank you, Lucy. Thank you, Lucy. Have a great week, everybody. Have take a great care. week. You guys take care.